Well, we're back and we're going to share with you another ministry uh, that is known to us here at Bay Focus over the years. They got some exciting things happening, maybe new to you. It's called Bikes for Christ. And that's exactly what it is. Uh, it's a ministry providing bikes. And we have the president and founder with us, Pat Simmons. And this time, Pat brought with him one of his key staff members, Corky Stern. Welcome, Corky and Pat. Thank you. And do I to say Corky and Pat or Pat and Corky? It's totally up to you. They are both such great <laughs> sounding names. Can I just say they go well together? I just love it. <laughs> and I know I love, I love fun names. So uh, great to have you today, Corky. But Pat, for people that don't know what Bikes for Christ is, start with, we're going to share with a really amazing event you're doing coming up. But what is Bikes for Christ? What do you do? What we do is we provide transportation to organizations that work directly with people in need. So let's say a case manager at Metropolitan Ministries is working with somebody they feel uh, is really trying to take steps to improve their life. They place an order with us for a bicycle to help that person get a job or get back and forth to job uh, or doctor's appointments, something like that. And with every bike that we send out, we also give a Gospel of John or a plan of salvation because we want that person to come to know Christ if they don't already. Yeah, you know, one of the things, too, I want to um, brag on you some, and, and I, there's no way I'm going to list them all. I bet you you could off the top of your head. All kinds of awards Bikes for Christ has received from local civic organizations, uh, chambers of commerce, et cetera. Um, they just um, do such an amazing community work. So, uh, you know, definitely proud of you all for that. And you have, um, um, before we talk to you, Corky, how do you get the bikes? I mean, where do they, where do they come from? You partner with it, organizations. Can anybody donate a bike or how does that work? Yeah, anybody can donate a bike. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it is, it's all donations. So most of the bikes that we get, almost all the bikes that we get are used bikes. So they need yeah. some type of work. Uh, so we, in fact, have a brand new building that we just Bill, yes, we've got a, we've got a new structure. Uh, it still needs a lot done, but we've got the structure. We're getting moved into that. Um, but yeah, all the bikes are donations, and um, yeah, they need they to just, be probably. We want rideable or close yeah. to rideable. That way, it takes less time and money to fix it, and we can get it out uh, quicker to the person in yeah. need. Okay, all right, that's important part to mention. And then Corky, um, tell us what you do with bikes for Christ. Well, I'm the uh, representative in Pinellas County. I work so a lot of events in Pinellas County, uh, different markets or fairs or wherever we can set up a table and promote the ministry and what we do. As this weekend, we're doing the home show in St. Petersburg, but uh, I, I belong to the Tampa Bay Beaches Chamber of Commerce representing Bikes for Christ, and I help promote the ministry and in the, in the local area. I, I love that. So they, and you guys are out there. I mean, you're out to a lot of different events, a lot yeah. of different things that, that you do. Um, and then, Corky, um, why do you do this? This is, this is, this is a <laughs> well, time consuming. Why is this important to you? I, I had been seeking uh, opportunities to get involved in ministry because I believe the Lord wants all of us to be involved in some, some type of ministry. And I met Pat about two and a half years ago, and I said I really liked what he was doing. Uh, his heart for the people in need. I have a heart for people in need. I try to minister that way also. But providing transportation for people that need it, that, that was really, I'm a cyclist, not as avid as he is, but I am a cyclist. And so trying to get transportation to people that need a, a ride to work or need to, to look for a job or whatever, children, homeless people, whatever. So uh, I saw that need and I thought this would be a good way to serve the Lord too. Yeah, I got to tell you, I, I love stories like that because it's just, you know, when people are looking for ministry, they just see the need. They go, where can I plug in? Where can I make a difference? Uh, well, one thing that uh, everybody's kind of thinking of right now, this time of year, it's getting close to back to school time. And I'm sure a lot of families are, are organizing for that, but there's always a need also too for, for school supplies, et cetera. There's an event coming up. Tell us about it, Pat. It's called Backpack Hero, a back to school event. And you are part of the organizational team behind this. Tell us about what, what this is. So about two and a half years ago is when uh, we were in a resource meeting in East Hillsborough County, and we you know, this this was floated around about having this event. And uh, so we're one of the organizations that's been on board since the beginning. Us, um, Hope for Her, and Echo, all based out of the East Hillsborough County area, and. Um, we first put this on two years ago at Bay Life Church, and it was just a big success. 
We did it again last year. It was a bigger success. Um, so this year, we're going to have it again, again on the campus of Bay Life Church, but we're also going to have a second event uh, in Riverview at Advent Health uh, that they're getting ready to open okay, up down give us, there. And, and while we're talking, we're going to show you, this is an actual, there families that need this, they can register and come and receive Back, mm -hmm. Is it backpacks loaded with supplies? The backpacks are already loaded yeah. with supplies, depending on whether you're a boy or a girl, and yeah. uh, they can come and get those. But not only can they come and get those, they can come, and we're going to have a lot of different resources from the community there as well. So if, if the families are in need of something, whether we're Bikes for Christ, we're going to be doing bicycle raffles. So we're going to have five bikes at each event that we'll be raffling off to people. But there's going to be all types of services offered at, at, at these two events uh, for people in need. So, so there'll be various organizations um, represented and, and there that, that they families could come and talk with, get with. Correct. Um, and I think there's even some that are providing food, right? I mean, yes. you got, it's like an, yep. it's yep. an event. We're going we're to have uh, food uh, yeah. for, at the event and everything. And we're going to have to-go boxes of food as well. Okay. All right. So to, give us, to start with, give us the dates again, okay. location, how people can. So uh, in Brandon, uh, it's Bay Life Church, and that's going to be on the 27th. And then the following weekend, it's going to be August 3rd at Advent Health in Riverview. Uh, to register, you would just go to bphero.org, and it gives you several different locations that you can register at and get signed up to have your children there. Okay, so they will need to go to a lo location to Correct. register. Correct. All right. So they, it is. And when the, um, you know, Bay Focus is airing, we're, we're airing this uh, program here very close to the dates of these events. So I would strongly encourage you, if this is something you want to get involved in, um, that you need to register now. Um, I believe you would, by at this, at this juncture here in July, you would um, already have all the supplies you need, correct? or not, can people still contribute to that? They can still contribute because even if we don't end up using them for this event, we will make sure that they go to organizations uh, and, and the kids so will get those supplies know. like Title I schools. We're gonna focus on those. So anything we have left over, we're gonna send out to them. Is there a particular, and I know I'm, I hope I'm not throwing you a curve here, particular supplies you're looking for? I know, I know they're gender specific, but there's something that's just needed for school. I mean, what, and is there a list somewhere people could find what they could I purchase? I believe the list is on the B website, BP but Hero. I'm not sure. BP okay. Hero. Either way, they can contact. They can reach out through our website. There, Absolutely. What's needed. Yeah. And we need volunteers as well. Oh, that's good to say. Absolutely. Okay. We need volunteers to help out with these events. It takes a lot of people to pull off uh, an event like this. Oh my goodness. Especially two of them. Yeah. And, um, this is strictly, I want to bring that this, this is strictly for East Hillsboro. Correct. So does there need to be some proof in people coming at their residents of it that area? It depends on where they sign up. So I know one of our organizations, they, you have to fall within their zip code, but another one of those organizations they can sign up with, you don't specifically have to fall within that zip code. So yeah. it's up to each organization that's doing the sign up. Okay. Okay. But uh, this is an, undertaking just for East Hillsboro to do this. I mean, just to be able to cover so many of the families needed there. Mm -hmm. um, and I think one of the cool things too is church, you know, church hosting, which try to get, I know there's different times over the years, churches partner with organizations to do this, um, but I hadn't seen as much of it in the last few years. I'm really thrilled to see this happening um, this year doing this. All right, so we know our, people that you're partnering with all these other organizations and, and doing this. Um, I want to get back to Bikes for Christ a little bit here too. Um, when when you, you both are involved in this and both in doing this, um, what has been some of the reaction to people? I mean, do you have a, a way to, to stay, not only initially when they receive the bike or whatever, but is there a way to to, to see you know how this is changing lives, a way to stay connected with some people? Well, the biggest way that we see this is through the pictures and the stories that we ask for from the case managers, that they send us back those yeah. so we're able to share them because our work is in the background. Yeah. You know, um, we're not like 
uh, a feeding ministry that, you yeah, know, yeah. people are out front, you know, you get to see. So our work's in the background. So we have to have those pictures. We have to have those stories to be able to share those to do our fundraising and show the work that we're doing. Um, every now and then, I mean, we do get some store, um, long-term stories yeah. back, but it's not that often. One that I do yeah. like to share is the fact of these two girls that were going to school um, at co college at HCC in Plant City and they had bicycles. They were both here, they were foreign exchange students. And um, they, they had bicycles, but the bicycles both broke. Something went wrong with them. So orders were placed for new bicycles with us. So I was the one that delivered those bicycles that day. And when I dropped them off, I wanted to find out how far they were from the college. They're in Plant City and they were four miles each way. So these bicycles, you can imagine, help them dramatically wow. get back and forth. And the great part about that is that I ended up getting feedback after they graduated. So they both became veterinarians. One of the girls decided to keep her bicycle, but the other one decided to donate it back to us. We were able to refurbish it a second time and send it back out to somebody else in need. I love that. Oh my gosh, that's a full circle. Yeah. At, what a great full circle story. Yep. I love it. What you're doing is so important. Um, and then, Cork, you know, we're, we're down to our last couple minutes, but um, I think you probably have a, a lot of um, interaction with people, too, when you go out in the community. Well, that's true. I have um, helped a couple of people get bicycles, and it's yeah. rewarding to see them get their bicycle. But the other thing is even when we're doing events and helping promote the ministry, we still run into people that don't know anything about the ministry, so we're trying to increase the awareness. Yeah. Not only that, but I've had opportunities to pray with people while yeah, we're setting up. Uh, yeah, I was hoping mm -hmm. that. Yeah. And and that's always a big blessing, too. I love that. Yeah. I love that. I mean, you know, um, people will, if you just reach out and say, can I pray with you? What do you have a need, you know, that we can mm -hmm. pray with when you're out at these events? All right. And our, in our last uh, couple moments here, how can our viewers uh, connect again with this backpack event and help Bike for, Bikes for Christ? Okay, so with the Backpack Hero event, again, that's bphero.org. Mm -hmm. uh, you can go there, find out where you need to register. If you want to volunteer, uh, you, can, you can reach out through that site as well. And then for Bikes for Christ, just Google Bikes for Christ. It, yeah. should, it should come up, but it's bikes, B-I-K-E-S, the number four, christ.com. Yeah. Okay. All right, thank you both us. so much for coming on. And stay tuned on the screen. You're going to see some of this information again. On, that we just talked about and the contact information in particular for Bikes for Christ. And then we want you to connect with the Backpack Hero event as well. We'll be right back with more Faith Focus. Stay tuned. Well, I hope you'll get involved in this, these events here coming up with the Backpack Hero and support Bikes for Christ. But also earlier in the show, we talked with Better Together. Wow, what an incredible ministry providing an alternative to foster care for families. I, I love it. And I want to encourage you to contact us here at Bay Focus. I want to hear from you. Uh, you're going to be seeing on the screen how you can uh, contact us. I'm so grateful that you tune in each week. Share the show where you can on all of our social media sites as well. Have a great week. See you next week. God bless. <music>